The Center for Quantum Engineering Research and Education, or SECURE, was established in 2020. The objectives of the center are twofold. First, to pursue cutting edge research in quantum science and technology. And second, to provide high quality education to students and to train them to carry out research in this important area in the future. The, the primary research area that has been pursued in SECURE at the moment is quantum computing. We've made substantial progress in the applications of quantum algorithms to atoms and molecules. In our group, we focus on carrying out atomic and molecular calculations on quantum computers using quantum algorithms. Uh, having said that, we also focus on allied areas like quantum error correction and most importantly, we are also focusing on our long-term goals of tackling real-world problems using quantum algorithms. So if the technology moves in a direction such that the error mitigations uh, are more controllable, number of qubits much more, and the decoherence time is controlled, then there are uh, lots of possibilities. I, I don't foresee immediately emergence of tabletop or laptop computers in the quantum domain, but it will certainly come in a way. I mean, who could foresee that uh, PCs will be developed? Quantum systems with which one performs quantum computing are fragile. They are subjected to errors that we do not have control over. The theory of quantum error correction allows one to overcome these errors by storing the quantum information of the quantum system into multiple quantum systems non-locally. We are uh, building a novel quantum machine learning model that mimics uh, quantum mechanical state evolution so that it can be self-aware uh, to be able to correct its course if it can go wrong, uh, unlike any existing machine learning model. I have been working in the field of quantum computing, quantum uh, information science almost for the last 34 to 35 years. I am the first person to start to initiate this field in India. The recent topics that I have been interested in over the last five years or so, it would do with uh, quantum speed limit and its applications in quantum adiabatic algorithm and quantum algorithm. Security is decreased. Really one of the prime uh, center that has been initiated over the last two, two years or so. We can discuss with experimental people and then try to implement your idea and they can test it. We plan to implement the superconducting qubit platform for both gate-based and annealing-based quantum computation. For qubits, it is desirable to have longer coherence time for all applications in quantum systems, including quantum computation. In quantum integrated circuits, electrical signals must flow without energy dissipation. So the materials used for building the circuits must have zero resistance at the operating temperature and the transition frequency of the qubits. Low temperature superconductors are thus a perfect candidate for this job. Scalability and stability are the two main challenges in present quantum technology. At Secure, we are planning to overcome these uh, problems by implementing cheap scale architectures using silicon and lithium niobate platforms. We are also focused on translation research where we can bring the science from laboratory to the field applications. For this, we have working on the quantum sensing area where we'll develop the cold atom gravimeter, where we'll map the gravity locally. The coursework is a perfect blend of components from quantum computing, where we learn different algorithms like the quantum phase estimation and the variational quantum algorithms. Here, I've been exposed to many talks from different scientists in various aspects of theoretical and experimental quantum computing. And uh, also, I feel like I'm able to think more creatively than I, than I used to do because I've been working in collaboration with different people, which is something that is not very common in my in Cameroon. The installation of our first qubit is an important milestone in our quest to build a full-fledged quantum computer which would be invaluable for both basic and translational research.